Hello friends, hope you are well, Techman Pat. Today we are talking routers. And of course, ASUS has sent these two for me to review and check out and tell you all about them and let you know which one could be the right option for you. So big thanks to ASUS. Make sure you like this video if you did and subscribe if you wanna support this channel. And let's roll the intro. All right, so today we're actually looking at the AX3000 dual band router and the AX1800, also dual band router. The difference between these two is very slight, however, the price difference is significant. The AX1800 is 279 Australian dollars, and this one, the AX3000, starts at $399. One main difference is you get two less actual antennas and the weight is significantly different. This is a really heavy device. It's packed with a lot of stuff, but it looks exactly the same. So what is the main difference? Well, the biggest difference that you could potentially notice, but I don't believe you will, is the fact that the AX3000 has a much higher Wi-Fi 6 speed, almost twice that of the actual AX1800. But is that a reason to choose either one of these? I actually don't think so. So let's talk about them. We'll go through both of them, the features that these devices come with because I think ASUS has really packed both of these routers with a lot of features that I think a lot of people would actually use. But the pricing might be kind of unjustifiable for what you get. First of all, if you're transferring large files across the network via Wi-Fi, generally speaking, yes, this would be the best use case. But for those people who actually do that, they tend to use the wired option and this one would do absolutely well. For testing purposes, I took a 60 gigabyte file and I transferred the file from the NAS box that is connected via a gigabit CAT6 cable to the router via Wi-Fi 6 onto a laptop with an SSD. Please note your own speed may vary on the speed of your SSD or hard drive. Many standard hard drives have a speed of 80 megabytes per second write speed. Hence, SSD can hit up to 300, 400 and a very good PC. CIE 4 or 3 SSD can hit up to a thousand. So these test results are only real world for me. Now I originally thought I could plug in a hard drive into the USB 3 port and test the speed straight from the actual router down to a Wi-Fi 6 compatible device, but I found that USB 3 topped out at 35 megabytes per second. So the AX3000 should be able to hit 375 megabytes per second download speed because 1000 megabits per second equals 125 megabytes per second, which is what Windows shows you when you transfer files. However, that's not really the case based on just the advertised numbers. So let's put this in perspective. My NAS transfer rate between a computer that is on the network with gigabit LAN averages 85 to 75 megabytes per second transfer rate. And the same test from NAS to my computer just via Wi-Fi 5, the speed ranges from 10 megabytes per second to 15, sometimes 20 at best. So the AX3000 averaged between 90 megabytes per second to 111 megabytes per second. And the AX1800 averaged 80 to 95. So to summarize, this is not the speed of your internet connection when you actually connect. So all those tests are kind of irrelevant in this case. This is pure transfer of data from a Wi-Fi 6 router to a Wi-Fi 6 enabled laptop with an SSD. And this is absolutely impressive. If you ever needed a reason to choose Wi-Fi 6, it is because it can match the speed of a one gigabit LAN CAT6 connection and be wireless. Now, one feature that both routers have and I think really make these two routers stand out is the Moo Mimo implementation. You see, Moo Mimo technology breaks up the available bands into separate individual streams that share the connection equally. A Mo Mimo router can come in 2x2, 3x2, and 4x2 variations, which refer to the number of streams, 2, 3, or 4, that are created by the router. In simple terms, imagine you're in line at a school tuck shop. You get served after the people in front of you get their pies, and with 
Mimo Mimo, instead of one lunch lady, you now get two, three, or four lunch ladies, which lessens the time you need to wait before you go out and play your game of rugby. A touch rugby, of course, never tackle. Both have four gigabit ports and both have an ethernet port. However, this cheaper one here has two USBs, a USB 2.0 and a USB 3.0, while this one only has a USB 3.0 which means you can potentially plug in a hard drive and a printer in this one, but on this side, you either have to choose either one. The other problem that you might also face is that you kind of have this 4G or 3G backup because you only have one USB. So that is a really good option to have here. And I'm kind of surprised that Asus didn't put that same feature inside here. Setup was incredibly easy on both devices. Each and every one of the steps was clearly defined. It also let you separate the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi's if you needed to be separate, but the Wi-Fi will be able to decide what is the best connection type for the device that it connects, and you shouldn't have to worry about separating it. Both devices give you a warning that if you are using a non-Wi-Fi 6 device and it has maybe aged not too well, you might see some connectivity issues. And that's a concern, but at this stage in time, most devices, even with Wi-Fi 5, will be able to connect to these routers and you're kind of future-proofed for the future, especially with this one because it can significantly hold more devices on its Wi-Fi network without sacrificing the bandwidth and speed. So if you've got a household full of people who consistently download legal things, then this will last very well throughout that time. The other major difference that I think is reasoning for the price increase is this has a Broadcom chimp. And that means that the speed of your internet will potentially be maybe five to 10% faster but also more stable. Just to note, the wired speed was very similar and you couldn't see such a huge difference unless testing via Wi-Fi 6. But I would say that if you're going for a gigabit connection with your fiber to the premises or HFC, this is the one you should probably go with because you're more likely to see a significant speed increase than this one right here. Obviously, these are not modems, they are only routers, they are not for fiber to the node connections, so please bear that in mind. You can, however, have a modem and connect that modem to here to use with your fiber to the node connections if you would like Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 6 is probably the biggest draw card of both of these routers, and that is fantastic. Wi-Fi 6 has solved a lot of issues, connectivity issues, multiple devices at the same time, drawing large amounts of bandwidth, and Wi-Fi 6 solves all those issues. And even if you have a Wi-Fi 5 device, it's extremely fast. Like, I cannot say enough how fast it is. As you can see, there's a couple of tests. So let's jump into the menus of both of these devices and talk about them. Both devices have some really cool features, but the one feature that the AX3000 has that the AX1800 doesn't have until apparently a firmware update will enable the feature, and that's the AI mesh. And that's connecting up multiple devices into a mesh network called ASUS AI mesh. And this is one of those features that you don't fully realize you need until you put a device in your home and your home is rather too big to be covered by just one Wi-Fi router. So you might need to extend that Wi-Fi speed across your home, hence being able to mesh it together with your router. At the moment, people end up buying separate network mesh devices to extend their Wi-Fi. With the AI mesh, you won't need to. You can connect it directly to this with other mesh devices from ASUS and it'll all interconnect into one network. A couple of other cool things is the actual network protection, which is controlled by Trend Micro, and that is absolutely impressive. You've got a lot of security. You've also got built-in speed tests. You've got malicious site blocking, a lot of parental controls, things that should always come with a router at this level. An interesting feature is connecting if that then this to your router. Though I couldn't quite work out what the point would be if you connected your Alexa to this. And I guess you could ask, hey Alexa, what's my internet speed today? Just like you end up asking, hey Alexa, what's the weather like? Friends, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped you to decide which device is right for you. Obviously the price difference is significant, but I would say that if you're considering between these two and you're not gonna have a lot of people using Wi-Fi and you still want Wi-Fi 6 performance, this one is here and it's ready to go for you. AX1800 is probably my choice out of these two routers, but I would say that if I was going for something that is just balls to the walls great, I would choose this Broadcom ASUS AX3000. And you know what? It doesn't look like a gaming router, but it's got the exact same features that you might see in those fancy spider-looking ones at 
a much lower price. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like the video below if you did and subscribe if you'd like to support us and you can actually support us by pressing the join button below. Thank you very much to ASUS for sending me these devices for review. I'll have to send them back, but I would have loved to keep this one. In any case, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in another one. Bye.